they gained weight, they didn't gain power, and um, yeah, everyone was just annoyed with the decision to go for it. I just keep changing my opinion whether like to recommend creating to writers I work with. Um, like whenever I tried, it didn't really work super well. So I'm basically not recommending creating at the moment to anyone. But I know colleagues working in professional cycling teams that are big fans of creating and have good success with it. So honestly, I don't really know. But looking at the evidence, it perhaps would make sense. But I feel like the individual differences are massive. Um, and it really depends on what kind of a rider you are. So for example, I would be guessing that for a rider that is really good at doing 30 minute climb or one hour, one hour, 20 minute climbs and wants to do a hill climb championships that is like two to three minutes, he will probably lack explosivity. Um, and this is when creating could be helpful. But for somebody that is already very good at these short events, which means that they're very explosive, they have a really high W prime, so anaerobic capacity. I don't think this will add much and might actually lead to weight gain because these riders usually already have quite a bit of muscle mass as compared to like climbers for longer events. Because with, this... yeah, the thing to note as well is that with creatine, we get water retention as well. And there are some differences out there that if you go down the bodybuilding side, you know, there's a large dose and there's you know some weight gain and water retention there uh, along with with strength um benefits but that you know when it gets to the endurance world it's like there's nuances and there's micro dose in it and all this kind of thing that people are, are trying um to do there but i know this is a very gray area and we don't really know enough information about that but it's interesting what you say about the different physiology types and and how, how they might respond. And do you think, another interesting question just off the back of that as well is, do you think that there might be differences in people's nutritional preferences, um, you know, and their, their dietary preferences on on whether that will, will benefit them or not? You know, you might have meat eaters, vegetarians, vegans, which then will have varying degrees of, um, you know, creatine, um, associated with those and whether actually someone who's vegetarian who doesn't have that baseline you know intake that others I mean we don't know enough about it it's just you know a subjective speculation yeah but I honestly like yeah I never tried uh, creating myself and really like the experience I had with riders like they gained weight they didn't gain power and um, yeah, everyone was just annoyed with the decision to go for it um, yeah so, yeah, this is like my experience. But so, so no said, for the hill climb. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I would probably wouldn't go for it.